Hi, I'm Sasha Segan for PCMag.com, and this is What's New Now. The mobile world is on fire this week. Mobile World Congress is coming next week, which means we're going to hear about an absolute flood of new phones and tablets. MWC is the year's biggest events for mobile phones and tablets, and it's the only time all year when you get executives from almost every carrier in the world in one place. So it's a great time to launch phones, and you're going to see a lot of new phones there. The biggest news at MWC is likely to be Samsung's Galaxy S6, which is coming on Sunday. Various leaks have said that the S6 will shed five years of plastic bodies for a metal and glass design, and that it'll come in an edge version with a screen that slopes down on both sides. You're also going to hear a lot about the HTC One M9 on Sunday. Leaks say that the M9 looks a lot like the existing HTC One M8, but with a faster processor and a better camera. But that's just the beginning. We're probably going to see new phones from Alcatel, Blackberry, Blue, Huawei, Kyocera, LG, Microsoft, Sony, Yez, and ZTE. We're going to see tablets from Huawei, Jolla, and Sony, at least half a dozen wearables, and enough new chips to fill a Ruffles factory. Sundar Pichai, the head of Android, is giving a keynote on Monday. Even Apple is involved in a press conference, although that's just about IBM's enterprise apps. How about surprises? Microsoft and Nokia used to own this show, and I'm hoping that Microsoft's press conference Monday morning put some gas in the Windows Phone tank. We've so far heard only that they're going to release some mid-range phones, so they need to give us some faith in their roadmap to keep people excited for the official launch of Windows 10 later this year. The biggest news days at MWC will be Sunday and Monday, and then on Tuesday and Wednesday we'll hunt down interesting things on the show floor. Check back on PCMag.com this weekend for more. I'm Sasha Segan, and that's what's new now.